Hi guys. Uh, right, this one is about Leaf Spy, which is uh, an app for Android and iOS. Um, I'm using an iPad in this case, and what you'll need to access it, other than obviously an iDevice or an Android device, is one of these little things. Uh, it was about £13, £14 pounds delivered from Amazon. Uh, I would go for the Wi-Fi versions rather than a Bluetooth, because some of the Bluetooth have... Uh, incompatibility problems basically um so just you know I, I i have not used this yes yet so you'll be using it for the first time with me um so basically the first thing you need to do is obviously plug this into the car right so the obd2 part on the leaf is just beneath uh the, the steering wheel and the buttons so it's this little kind of bit here uh so you'll yeah ouch 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 there we go, uh, break your fingers, um, get it the right way around, plug that in, right, that's plugged in, now I shall uh, turn the car on. That's lit up now, this is a good sign I suppose. First thing to do is to go to the Wi-Fi settings on your device, um, for now I'll, I'm just going to stick with iPad because that's what I'm using. And in a second, it should come up with, there we go, Wi-Fi OBD. Default password seems to be 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8 for quite a lot of them. So that's what it is. So make sure you're connected to that wireless, not your home wireless, if you, you, know, if you need your home. Um, otherwise it won't work. So that should connect now. Yep, yeah, brilliant. Right, so... This is now connected to the Wi-Fi dongle down there. Car is on. It says I've got 58% at present. Let's open up the Leaf Spy app. Right, here we go. Um, so this is the uh, the Leaf Spy app. Uh, SOC, state of charge. GIDs, I have to admit, not really certain what GIDs mean, but that is basically your m much more accurate. The car says 58%. It's actually 58.7 so it gives you a bit more detail uh, about what you can do that's basically saying you'll be able to do 45 miles if you average four miles per kilowatt hour so if you increase that if we could do 4.5 miles per kilowatt hour i'll be able to get 50 miles that's the temperature of the batteries you can also do the tire pressures as you can see but only when you're moving um so that's the type the, the battery temperature which would be very handy for me to know when uh, another one of my videos it shows me being unable to charge of what i assumed at the time was a battery temperature because there was no other reason for it really um so yeah so it gives you a bit of information it's, it tells you how much actual energy you've got in your battery there uh you can see on this four four pages here so let's scroll across state of charge 61.1 Gids is the one that you're kind of going to drive around with, 58.7. Um, I think with these, it's a case of the, the... You will never run the battery fully, fully down, even if you run it till it stops, because it probably won't do the battery any good. Again, temperature there as well. Uh, voltage histogram. Not entirely certain how useful this is, but... Uh, there you go. Double tap charging power mm, interesting so you tap it goes cycling through various things Doop. charging power so I'm guessing if you're charging that would give you some information about it interesting okay next page this is a bit more interesting these are all the battery cells because um, as you know, there are many cells in the leaf battery. There isn't just one big battery. There's hundred and some uh, cells in a leaf. Um, and here it also states the state of health, which for my car is 99%. So if you're buying a used leaf, this would be very handy. So you'd be able to check the health of the battery. Now, sometimes that can fluctuate. If it drops down to 96 Say if you've been away for a week or two and not used the car, you know, sometimes you can just do a, a rapid charge or just leave it on charge overnight and that will go back up again. 
to 98.99 or something like that so don't worry if it does drop a bit but uh, uh, obviously if it drops below 90 or something then then i'd start to uh, you know, maybe contact the dealer and um, these are the temperatures oops these are the temperatures of the batteries uh, sorry the sensors on the battery the three sensors i'm guessing in three areas of the battery um which would have been quite useful for me as I said before and that's the first page so really that yeah that's kind of it really it gives you a bit of diagnostic information um speed elevation lots of graphs if you like this sort of thing you can save them you can get to log stuff the main thing i'm going to use it for is if i ever want to find out the exact state of charge that'd be interesting uh, if you're doing a regen test quite useful um that one really um find out the percentage so there you go this is it really that's the main screen you're ever going to use i would imagine you can tap to freeze that untap it so yeah there we go this is leaf spite uh the app itself is quite expensive it's 15 pounds for the app uh the dongle which is the one down there the obd2 dongle which works in any car not just a leaf um just tested it on a fiesta and uh that's about 13 pounds delivered i think i said before um so yeah this is leaf spite and uh that's hopefully useful to someone